Greetings everyone, the good tonight here. Today we're gonna make 550 cuffs. Be sure that you are safe with this. Don't use them in any legal fashion, so on and so forth. Disclaimer. So, take your grip of 550 cord, get the centerpiece. The centerpiece, you're gonna to want to take both ends and loop them on through, like so. Okay, cool. Then you're gonna to wanna to go, and you're gonna to wanna to do that. It should look something like this. And again, nice and copacetic, straight on the back ends, no crisscross. And then you're gonna to wanna to do it again making sure to stay towards the outside. So one like so, and then bring this other one on over here, bring it through there, and ta-da. So, what you should end up, this is a little banding, got your piece over here, four on the center, four going towards the back, make sure they don't crisscross. It's not a terrible issue, but you're gonna save yourself some time and heartache this way. Actually, I think they're gonna crisscross and extend either way, so don't sweat it too much. So, once you've got that, you've got your middle piece through there, you're gonna to want to loop upwards. And this is gonna be pretty important because this is gonna give you some of the tension and whatnot. So, you've got this little design going here, now what you do is you take one of your fingers out, which is why we used two from the beginning, and you basically poke the rope through both ends through all the holes. One over here, and this one comes on back, goes over through here, come on. Okay, now we've got our two loops over here. You're going to want to grab the ends here, and you're going to want to grab your two loops, and then everything else is going to be a matter of tightening. So, as you can see, the middle part tightens immediately, but those two sort of outer parts are going to take some convincing, so you kind of roll this and tighten this, and you're basically going to force it to do what you want by pushing down. Make sure your uh, center piece is stayed center as best as you can. Tighten that on out. You're going to end up with kind of like this little knot sort of looking thing. Your middle pieces, your original center, the two outer pieces. The reason we doubled it up is basically to give it added strength. But now we've got this little bow looking design. Now what you're generally going to want to do is you can tie these bottom pieces off. Hopefully you've already burned the material on the bottom. So if you haven't, you should probably do so now. You want to make some little knots basically to ensure it doesn't slip out, at least not from the this end. What you can do is if you no longer wish to have the 550 cuffs is you can pull both of these and it'll undo itself. So put your prisoner's hands, or lover's hands, ooh, depending on what you're looking for, through there. You're going to want to basically just tighten up the rope here. Once you tighten that, pull these, and you can see they kind of just slip not tighten through. So cheaper than a uh, flexi cuffs, particularly the one-time use flexi cuffs, easier to get a hold of. Probably not as reliable, but you can also just fold these up and jam them in your pocket, cargo pocket, anywhere and they're available, so. Cool thing to have. Now, your ability, again, as I mentioned, Boy Scouts Honor and all that, is gonna really come into play in tying the knot here and wrapping extra material around the wrist and whatnot, so. Your ability to tie square knots or any type of knots or rewrap them around the wrist further is all going to come down to your own personal ability. So they're not as easy to use as zip tie or as a zip locks or any of that sort of sense, but zip ties or anything. But as you can see, very easy to make, and it re actually really just comes down to your own skill. But that's all that really goes into it. I'll give you a good look at this knot here. Is really curious. That's basically all there is to it. And that gives you a good little knot, and you can make your own 550 cuffs, and you, I don't know, most people for airsoft just use tape, masking tape, duct tape, or whatever, but if you want to use 550 cuffs, that's how you do it. And if you do happen to cut off someone's circulation or cause some problems, you can just knife on through this with literally any type of blade. So, not perfect, easy to make, and pretty fantastic. And if you want to add them to your kit, hey, now you can. Simple and easy, so... Just some cool stuff I wanted to share with you guys. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, cheers. Stay chivalrous and uh, stay out of trouble.